Today we are doing a chatty get ready with me, so grab a snack or grab your makeup and let's get ready together. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that you're having a great day today. If you are new to my channel, my name is Julie and I post mainly get ready with me videos focused on affordable drugstore makeup. I want to show you that you do not need to spend a lot of money to have really great makeup. So if that resonates with you, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of our affordable beauty community here on my channel. And I'll also have all the products I'm using today listed and linked down below. I do use affiliate links, so if you do happen to purchase anything through those links, it does support me. So thank you so much. It supports my channel. So today I thought I would just do a chatty get ready with me. Um, I don't know. I was just feeling like just chatting to you guys today and just kind of like just switching it up. But I don't really feel like too much has been going on in my world over here just kind of waiting for winter to be over with, which I will say that the weather this week has been so nice where I live. Like it's been in the 50s and the 60s and it's been sunny for most of the week. So I think like maybe tomorrow or Friday it's gonna rain, but in the evenings, Josh and I have been taking like walks and it's just been so nice. But we've been thinking about maybe like where we might go on vacation this year. And it's been like probably a year and six months since we've taken a vacation. <laughs> so I don't know, like normally like our easy vacation that we do, um, we'll just go to Gulf Shores, Alabama. But I'm kind of thinking that we might do something different this year. And we were talking last night about maybe going to the Bahamas or somewhere like that. I think like maybe going to the Bahamas or like Turks and Caicos or like the Cayman Islands. Somewhere like that would be a really nice vacation. And even though like we'd have to fly to get to there, it's not like going all the way to Hawaii or something like that. That would be really far and really expensive. And like at one point we were talking about going to Mexico and doing like an all-inclusive resort there. But honestly, there's a lot of other great resorts in the Bahamas. So I don't know, like, and one of my friends, like they were talking about like maybe doing like a group, like couples vacation to Mexico later this year. So I don't know, like we're just thinking about it. So you'll have to let me know in the comments if maybe if you've ever taken a vacation to the Bahamas and if you did, did you enjoy it? Like where did you stay? I know that like I guess a lot of people that go to the Bahamas, they do like the cruises, which I know that there's probably a lot of really great cruises to go on, but I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of scared to go on a cruise. Um, <laughs> like the thought of just being out at sea all the time. I mean, I know that they dock and go to different places, but I don't know, like, and I know that like the water's not normally rough, like in the Bahama area and all that, but I don't know. It's just, it's too scary for me. I don't really like it, but I'm sure if I actually did do a cruise, I probably would love it, but just not really the thing that we want to do but I need to look I want to stay in a place that has like your own little pool and like your own little outside area I just think that would be so nice and so relaxing Gulf Shores Alabama is just a nice easy vacation for us because we can just drive there and it's somewhere between like an eight to ten hour drive like just depending on the stops and everything so it's not bad at all I feel like anything that's ten hours or under is doable for me to in for driving um and so in being able to drive there and especially now that I bought a new car last year it just the expenses of travel isn't as much than you know like getting a plane ticket and all of that but you know we only live once 
so but do any of you guys have any vacation plans this year two years ago josh and i for our vacation we went to i think i told you guys this before in a q a but we went to the redwood forest and we also went to like oregon drove up like the the coast of oregon which was stunning and so beautiful i feel like oregon is probably one of the prettiest states in the United States. It was just such a beautiful experience and vacation. So I highly recommend going there. And like the Redwood Forest is amazing. I feel like I have a cat hair on my face. Like I was petting Salem this morning before I started filming. And I'm really bad about snuggling on him. <laughs> so it's like I'm just asking to get cat hair all over my face. <laughs> That was such a bucket list vacation for me. Really liked going there. And I mean, I think I still would like to go to Hawaii one day, but I feel like after the whole pandemic situation and everything, it kind of, I don't know, like the thought of having to travel that far, I just don't really feel like doing that. So that's why like the Bahamas seem a little bit more appealing. Plus I know there's a lot of other great like islands to visit out there besides Hawaii that are just as beautiful. Like I would rather go vacationing somewhere that's not as popular because I know it's not going to be as crowded. <laughs> Do any of you guys have a favorite place where you go on vacations like when you're just wanting like an easy relaxing vacation do you have a place where you like to go another thing that would be really cool where we live so i've told you guys before but i live right outside of louisville kentucky but there's this place in in kentucky it's like not necessarily southern kentucky but it is a bit more south i believe or it might be more like east um, but it's Red River Gorge. Yeah, I think it might be like a little bit northeast or central east Kentucky. But they have some really cool places where you can stay in like these like treehouse cabins that are super cool and unique. So I would love to go to Red River Gorge. I know a lot of people from, you know, the area go there in the spring, summer, and especially in the fall because the trees are so beautiful there. And they have like a lot of great like hiking places and stuff like that. So it's another great place to go. Um, also like the Smoky Mountains aren't too far from where we live. I mean, it's probably like a three, two hour drive, which I consider that like pretty close. Um, so that's like another great spot to travel for vacation. But I'm always jelly of like the people that live an hour or two or like anywhere from like three to an hour from the beach because you're just like so close. It would be easy to take like weekend vacations there like I'm such a beach lover and it's been probably like three years since I've been to the beach I think the last time we went to Gulf Shores was in 2001 or no I keep saying 2001 but 2021 <laughs> was the last time that we went I've done that three times now and talking to Josh I said 2001 and also talking to one of my girlfriends about us going on vacation <laughs> Also, too, I wanted to talk about my, like, my New Year's resolutions and how those are going. I did an update probably about a month ago. Is that right? Maybe. It was probably, like, three or so weeks ago. Um, I did an update on how things were going with my resolutions. I'm going to take some of this foundation off of my lips. I want to apply some of this Maybelline, the plump gloss that has like the hot chili pepper. I do find that this does plump my lips up and it helps to give my lips a little bit of color. And I keep forgetting to use this in videos, but I do really like this. I know that this product is definitely not for everybody because it does give your lips a like if you've ever eaten hot peppers or like hot chicken wings like that really hot tingly feel this is exactly what that feels like so if you cannot handle spicy you will not like this but it's like i secretly want to do a hot sauce challenge like 
like go and professionally like do a hot sauce challenge. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just crazy cuz I feel like when I go to um you know, hot wings places and get like the hottest wings. They're hot, but I'm like, this really isn't that hot. But I was talking to Josh about it the last time that we were at um, Cluckers, which is a local place that does hot wings and stuff. The hottest wings there are probably like mild or barely spicy to the people that do like these really hot wing challenges. <laughs> so it's like, even though I'm like, yeah, I could totally do that. I could win one of those. Yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> the New Year's resolutions. So I have really gotten into my groove with working out on a regular basis. And definitely the three days a week is the sweet spot for me. So I know that when I first started my resolutions, I was saying that I wanted my goal to be to like weight lift Monday through Friday, but it's just, I get a bit too burnt out and also lose motivation whenever I lift weights that many days a week. I've been consistent with that for probably the past month. I might have taken like one week off whenever I was feeling kind of sick if you guys remember that, like a few weeks back, I was kind of getting a little under the weather and I did not want to put like added stress to my body, um, you know, to possibly make me get a little bit more sick. I really wanted to give my body enough rest so I could just fight off whatever was going on because I didn't want to get full blown sick. And I do feel like that strategy worked because I didn't get all the way sick. And then on the days that I'm lifting weights and also on the days that I'm not, I've been getting anywhere from like 7,000 to 10,000 steps a day, just depending on the day and what's going on. But I've definitely been making it a point to walk a bit more. Like I usually try to walk at lunch and after I get like my videos, edited and I watch it back I'll usually walk while I watch it back um, and then in the evenings Josh and I we've been walking so that's been going well so like the health part's been going well and also reading through the Bible I've been staying very consistent with that as well but the one or I guess the few areas where I've been kind of struggling to keep up with my New Year's resolutions is with journaling, gratitude journaling, and also doing my meditations. I haven't been as consistent with that. I've probably been a little bit more consistent with gratitude journaling out of the three, but meditation has really just taken a back burner for me when I feel really at calm and at peace and <laughs> we'll just let that car pass. Um, when I feel in a really good calm state, I don't feel as motivated to do my meditation because in my head I'm like, I don't need it. Like, I feel good. But I know that if I stayed more consistent with it all the time, it would just be really helpful. So I need to get back on track with that and just find a time of the day where it fits the best. Like in the morning, I just have a lot of things going on. And it's hard for me to fit everything into my morning routine. So maybe I could do meditation more so in the afternoon and evening, maybe. And then with journaling, it's kind of the same thing with meditation. It's like if I don't have anything stressful, I kind of don't journal. I'm kind of like a stress journaler. Like I journal when I'm stressed out or have a problem or I'm angry. Like I don't journal as much when I'm happy, which I should because then I could go back and read like the happy moments. Not that I never journal happy moments, but I just don't as much when, um, when things are going well. <laughs> I think my other resolution that I had was to like eat three planned meals a day and I've actually been doing pretty well with that resolution as well. So I guess really the main ones that I need to be focusing on are 
those three that I was just talking about. But overall, I feel pretty good with the ones that I've been staying consistent with. So, and it, I do just feel more at calm, like more at peace this year and just more calm. And it was just like last night whenever Josh and I were walking together I was just thinking to myself, like, I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful for this moment. And I was just feeling so content in that moment and just thinking about how my word for this year is to be content, like contentment. So I think just slowing down and just appreciating the things that you have in your life just really helps and since getting laid off from my job and just doing <clears throat> this full time like filming YouTube videos just doing YouTube full time it's just like made my life more peaceful and a lot more simple cuz I had to cut back on how much I was spending and going out and also too it's like when you're not working with people every single day like some of the people that you hung out with a lot you just it kind of naturally just kind of fades away and you don't hang out with them as much just because like you don't have time to so I spent way more time just at home and with myself and I don't know it's just really brought a lot of peace to my life and I'm sure just also re reading through the bible in one year has you know, just reading it consistently every day has also just brought like peace to my life and just not having to deal with all the craziness of my last job because sometimes it would get really crazy and be really stressful. So my stress load is much lower now. I'm so grateful to be where I'm at right now and to just be in a place where I feel much more at peace and just grateful and content. And I mean, even now I still struggle sometimes with living a different life now. <laughs> it's really weird, but it's like as you get older and you look back in your life, it almost feels like you have lived different lifetimes like especially if your life really changes in a certain moment in time like for me just something that you could not control that happened to you and forced you into a different way of living or at a different place in your life like you know me going through my divorce which I didn't necessarily want but looking back at that situation I realized that it's what God wanted for my life like and I know that some people would be like God doesn't want divorce and you know all of that which is true but I think too sometimes maybe we go down a path that we shouldn't have went down and God takes us out of those situations to put us back on the right path and I feel that that was my case in that situation. Not to say that my ex-husband was a terrible person or anything like that because he's not, but it just, we just weren't right for each other and that wasn't the path that God had for me. Um, so I mean, in going through that, that was a huge shift in my life and then going through this layoff was a huge redirection <laughs> so you know that's how life is sometimes you it's that passage the scripture that says and i'm paraphrasing but it's like you can make your plans but god directs your steps so it's like we can make our plans for things, but it doesn't always mean that it's going to work out the way that we planned. And sometimes that's a hard pill to swallow, you know. I did want to mention this one makeup product. I know I haven't really been talking about the makeup. I've just been popping it up on screen. But this blush from LA Girl, one of you guys told me that this was a good dupe to the NYX blush in taupe. So I wanted to share this with anybody that is having trouble finding this product and wants something similar. 
So this is in the shade just because. And I will say it is slightly a little bit different tone. Like as you can see, this is a little maybe lighter and even more cool toned than the NYX HD blush. But honestly, once you get it on your cheeks, it doesn't look that much different. And at least the first time that I used this product, I found that it was less ashy on me than the NYX blush in taupe. So I don't know. I still need to use this a bit more to really get a good opinion on it. But that first time that I used it, I really enjoyed it. So I need to like wipe off this blush brush because it's probably got product on there from yesterday. But just to show you what this LA girl just because looks like on so you can see but like see I feel like that is such a pretty color and it actually doesn't look as cool on so it's like I'm so fair right now in the video that I filmed yesterday which was the video before this one I used the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and in looking at that footage yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, that looks almost like Oompa Loompa on me. Like I felt like I had applied it so intensely <laughs> on my, on my face. But I do think that that Physicians Formula Bronzer does look a bit better on me in the summer when I have more of a tan. And yeah, in the winter I get really fair and I actually get a tad bit confused in the winter if I'm like warm or cool toned with my skin undertone. And I was talking to mom about like you know, what is her coloring and does she think she's a warm or cool skinned undertone? And she said that she thought she was cool toned, like that she had a pink undertone and we compared like our arms to each other and I definitely looked yellow compared to her. So after doing that, I was like, yeah, I do have a warm, I do have a warm undertone to my skin. It's just that in the winter, since I do get really fair, it makes me feel like it's a cool undertone, but really I don't. But, and I've mentioned this to you guys before, but I'm really into the color seasons, like the color analysis to figure out what colors look good on you. And so you can figure out like what clothes to buy like what colors and it just helps you like with your wardrobe and makeup and everything but I keep going back and forth like I kept going back and forth like am I winter am I an autumn but I'm pretty sure I'm a dark autumn I'm almost like 90% sure but it's like I would like to get professionally evaluated but at the same time I'm like eh, I don't want to pay somebody because they'll probably just come to the same conclusion that I have. I'll leave some links down below if you are also curious about that and they have like quizzes and things to help you figure out like what you feel that your undertone is and what your color season is but because I'm definitely not a professional <laughs> when figuring that stuff out for other people. <laughs> I have a hard enough time trying to figure it out myself. I just love this. So thank you so much, like whoever recommended this, because this is definitely a dupe to this product. And I think in some ways I like this a little bit more than this. So if you've been looking for a good cool toned contouring bronzer, look no further. I will have it linked below. I think I might actually do this blush from Milani because I have not used this in a while, but this is Dulce Pink. And I know my friend Abby, she loves this blush. It's probably one of her favorites. She was the person that inspired me to get this blush, but, but it's such a pretty warm pink. It's very similar to NARS Orgasm blush. If any of you are familiar with that blush, which NARS Orgasm back in the day when I first started my YouTube channel, that was my favorite blush. And then with that blush, it does have like a slight built-in highlight. 
so it does have a little bit of a sheen but I think I am going to apply highlights just got to figure out what I want to use I think I'm going to use the highlight out of this Bloom Baby Bloom palette from Essence because I always use it with the palette but I kind of want to use it without this palette with a different blush and makeup look. But I do really like this highlight. I think it is very pretty. Doesn't accentuate pores. And I saw Jen Phelps review of this palette. Like she reviewed the other one that was the more cool toned of this. And she didn't really like it. Like it didn't really last on her. But I don't have that issue. Like it lasts really well on me. And I don't know if it's like the products that I use. Because like this foundation that I'm using today. And also Revlon Colorstay are really long wear foundations on me. And I know that sometimes if you're not wearing a foundation that lasts long. It can kind of make products like this not last very long. And... Like the eyeshadow primers that I use, like the Milani or my Urban Decay all, like my Urban Decay um, primer potion, those will make any type of eyeshadow, even if it's like not a good long wearing eyeshadow on its own, it will make it last a long time. So if you have good base products, I don't think you should have an issue with this stuff lasting. But I always, you know use makeup setting sprays and things that help to make my makeup last a long time so maybe that's why but I absolutely love this palette and I've actually been wanting to go and pick up the one that she had which I don't know maybe that palette's not as good as this one because this is the warmer toned palette in Make It Bloom but okay I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with my makeup setting spray and I'm just going to use this Essence Fix and Last, which this is actually a really good setting spray. Like the sprayer isn't my favorite, but it's not like the worst setting spray sprayer. I've definitely had way worse. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and curled up my lashes and applied my mascara. And I just used the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational in the color True Brown today. It's been a minute since I have used this mascara, but this is one of my favorite browns. So like, or one of my favorite brown mascaras. So this is more of just like a dark brown but it doesn't look like black brown on your lashes like it just looks like a true dark brown and then if you want like a lighter brown this essence lash without limits in brown is your brown for that it's like a warmer lighter brown so these are my two very favorite brown mascaras so i love those i'm just gonna take off this lip plumper but my lips are definitely feeling very spicy. <laughs> but this is one of my favorite MAC like everyday lipsticks. This is in the shade Modesty. And it's very similar to my actual lip color. So see like look upper and bottom you can see how close the lip color is. So it's definitely like a my lips but better shade like I don't have a ton of high-end lipsticks but if I had to pick my favorite high-end lipstick brand it would be MAC I really love MAC lipsticks they feel so nice on the lips like so comfortable even their mattes like their matte formulas and I love that vanilla scent they have it's just like a light vanilla scent and it lasts for a long time on your lips too even like this creamy this is their i think satin or cream the cream sheen lipsticks so i know sometimes ulta has those on sale and if you can get them on sale it's like basically drugstore prices but i mean they might not go on sale too often but i think on one of ulta's 21 days of beauty like last year they had that on there and it was like half off or something i should have bought a bunch then 
but I hope that you guys enjoyed getting ready with me this morning and just listening to me chat. If you stayed to the end, thank you so much. Thank you for spending time with me today. And I hope that you have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. You shouldn't doubt yourself because you're a work of art.